It's getting pretty difficult to make a laptop that stands out. There are countless machines out there that are thin, light, and powerful with comfortable keyboards and beautiful screens. To really stand out, a manufacturer has to introduce unique features that are beyond just mere gimmicks. HP's latest attempt is something called Presence Aware on the Elite Book X360 1040, which lets the machine know when you're in front of it and dim the screen when you leave or wake up when you return. There's also a new AI noise reduction tool to make your voice sound clearer on calls. Though we don't review many commercial laptops like HP's Elite Book series, we're making an exception this time because interesting features like Presence Aware and AI noise reduction tend to show up in HP's consumer lineup after debuting first on its business series. The $1,560 Elite Book 1040 is our first chance to determine if these things are actually useful or if they're simply gimmicks. HP has become a leader in laptop design, with its Spectre series being some of the best looking ultra portables around. They often sport super thin profiles and unique flourishes like leather builds. The Elite Book 1040 is less quirky. Its silver exterior and sloping profile are pretty typical these days, but touches like the angled lip and shiny branding on the back edge add subtle style. HP also said this year's model is slightly smaller and lighter than the last generation. Regardless, this is a good looking machine and one of the best looking commercial laptops around. The 14-inch display is surrounded by a pleasantly thin bezel on the vertical sides, while the top and bottom bezels are wider and accommodate a Windows Hello capable IR webcam and HP's logo, respectively. You can use a dedicated keyboard shortcut to trigger a physical shutter to keep prying eyes from spying through your webcam. And next to the space bar sits a fingerprint sensor. Unlike on the Galaxy Book Flex 13, which also has a fingerprint sensor on the keyboard, HP's reader is on a button that you can actually depress. It's a bit confusing since you don't have to press a key for the laptop to read your fingerprint, but it's not a big deal. Since it's meant for a business user, the Elite Book 1040 comes with a generous array of ports, including two USB-A slots, an HDMI socket, a microSD card reader, and a headphone jack. There's also a pair of Thunderbolt-friendly USB-C ports, which you can use to charge the device on the right edge although having one on either side would have been a bit more convenient. The Elite Book's 1920x1080 screen is crisp and colorful. I enjoyed watching Engadget's docu-series Superhumans, and the speakers flanking the keyboard were loud and clear. I also played videos of Costa Rica in 4K, and they looked rich and detailed, while the Christmas jazz music that YouTube recommended was round and bright. I do wish the display were brighter though, it was sometimes hard to see in sunlight. Still, it's clearer and brighter than one of the company's laptops with a privacy filter, like the Elite Dragonfly. By skipping out on the filter, the Elite Book 1040 instantly improved its viewing angles. I've loved HP's keyboards on the Elite Book series for a while, and the 1040 doesn't disappoint. The buttons are satisfyingly deep and have a clicky response that almost feels like mechanical keys. The layout is well-spaced, and since this is the larger 14-inch configuration, there's also room for an additional column of keys on the right for Home, Page Down, Page Up, and End. HP also included a nifty programmable key in the shortcut row at the top, which you can set to launch your favorite apps, files, or websites. Using a combination of Control, Alt, and Shift with the programmable button, you can create up to four different shortcuts. For example, you can set the key to launch your messaging apps, browser with tabs open for email and calendar, as well as your photo and audio editing software. This way, you can start your workday with all your frequently used tools with just a push of a button. Then, you could also set, say, Shift Program Key to pull up three different browsers with the order pages for the PlayStation 5 at various retailers open so you can get ready for the next drop. It's a simple but surprisingly useful tool that I wish other laptop makers would adopt. Another feature unique to the Elite Book 10 series is HP's Presence Aware. This uses a proximity sensor to tell if you're in front of your laptop and dim the screen and then lock the machine when you walk away and then wake it up when you return. Because it uses a proximity sensor instead of a camera, Presence Aware will also work if you've shuttered the webcam and it's not actually looking for identifying features. 
On my first review unit, I couldn't use Presence Aware at all. The settings page just showed a message that said, Service unavailable. The second unit I received worked just fine, and I set the machine to lock within 5 seconds of me leaving. It mostly behaved as I expected, and the system woke up once I returned and signed me in via Windows Hello using the webcam. Since I'm working from home, and no one else is here, Presence Aware doesn't offer that many benefits for me, other than a fraction of a second saved by not having to hit a button to wake the laptop up. HP purports that this can also save battery by putting the machine to sleep when you're away, although that doesn't sound that much different from existing screen timeout tools. When we do return to offices though, this feature could be useful for those people who don't always remember to lock their laptops when they leave their desk. It still requires a few seconds after you walk away before it locks your machine, so technically someone standing in the area could stand in front of the proximity sensor to thwart the auto lock. But hey, at least if you're still in the vicinity, you could be aware of this happening. To be clear, HP isn't the first to introduce such a feature. Dell's also implemented something similar using a 40 degree time of flight sensor. HP is quick to point out that it uses a 60 degree time of flight sensor that scans a wider angle, which means it's quicker to respond when you return. Another feature that HP says is new with the EliteBook 1040 is an AI noise reduction tool that is supposed to suppress ambient noise for crystal clear conferencing. You might want to reword your claim, HP, because even though this feature seemed to work, it didn't actually make my voice sound completely clear. I used Audacity to record myself speaking while I played sounds of a siren on my phone, and the AI was smart enough to silence the noise when I wasn't speaking. I just turned on the background noise, and I'm going to stop talking to let you hear what it sounds like when I'm not talking. This is ridiculous, because this thing is going on and on non-stop, and all the silences you hear are active silence, despite this noise in the background that you can tell right now is constant as I talk. Whenever I did say anything though, the mic would activate, and the Elite Book still picked up the wailing sounds in the background, so I still had to compete to be heard. It's impressive that the system is smart enough to know when I'm speaking and open up the microphone, but it doesn't appear to be suppressing the sounds it claims it does while I'm talking. These noises include rustling paper, barking dogs, or slamming doors. HP also didn't get back to me on whether this is a feature you can turn on or off, but there's no settings in the computer anywhere for it. Thanks to its 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor, the EliteBook 1040 was more than capable of handling my daily workflow. I encountered no delays as I wrote up news posts while covering a live event on YouTube, downloading and editing pictures, and researching features all at the same time. It kept running when I pushed it harder too, jumping in and out of a game of League of Legends to chat with my friends on Discord and Telegram, although it did take a second or so to switch between those apps. I'm less impressed with the Elite Book's battery life though. It barely lasted 5 rounds of League of Legends after half a day's work. But on our video rundown test, the laptop clocked 14 hours and 23 minutes, which is a respectable score. In general use, the Elite Book 1040 also managed to stick around all day. I guess just don't expect hours of gaming out of it. The EliteBook X360 1040G7 starts at $1,500 with a hefty discount on HP's website right now, and for that price, there are plenty of better consumer options to consider. Of course, your company's IT department might be more concerned and willing to pay more for the security software and protocols that are compatible with its setup. But features like HP's Presence Aware and AI Noise Reduction are what I'm more concerned about with this review, and neither of them are just that exciting just yet. If they're a taste of what's to come in future mainstream laptops, I believe companies will continue to struggle to find ways to make their products stand out. Aside from those features and its somewhat dim screen though, the EliteBook 1040 G7 is a good, if pricey, laptop. For more reviews on the consumer laptops you should get, or smartphones, laptops, tablets, and wearables, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.